My name is Leah Anderson, and today is my cyber birthday. It's been over three years since I got my now, and I became a cyborg. And my gift has been a deadly disease. Apparently, I tested positive for synthetic neurodegeneration, also known as SND, a fucking disease that fries your brain and has no cure. Sup, Dan? What the hell are you doing here? Hi, Elle. I tested positive for SND. It seems pretty serious. Oh, really? Well, that makes two of us. Two? You got the results already? Yeah. I don't have the details, but it doesn't look good. Shit. I never thought that a ghost of your level could be affected by SND. We're really screwed. Meh. I may be a great A, but I'm still human. This damn plague makes no exceptions. Hey, but don't worry. I'll find a way to save us. They offered me an experimental treatment, and today... Leah Anderson, room number eight. Damn, that was timely. There's still hope, Dan. We'll talk later. You've tested positive for SND. Sorry, there's still no cure, but luckily it hasn't progressed much. Yeah, tell that to the fucking migraines. Now what? There's an experimental treatment, but it's a dangerous procedure. No one's waiting for me at home, so what the hell, sign me up. Damn. You must be really hurting. I hope the treatment really helps. It's our only chance. Yes? I'm calling from the Free Your Mind Corporation. We have received your admission request from the hospital. Time is key, as you may already know. SND will cause your brain to work at increasingly higher speeds, degenerating rapidly. You must get on board immediately. Yeah, yeah. I'm aware of how screwed I am, but I'll do whatever it takes. That's it. That attitude will be essential for your recovery. We'll pick you up in the next few hours. God. My head is gonna explode. And supposedly I'm not so bad. I don't even want to think about Dan. The process is still in the experimental phase. The evolution of each patient is very different and depends largely on their current stage, but we are already close to achieving a complete cure. The SND will accelerate your mind, creating a false sense of power. But don't be fooled, your neurons will not be able to keep up and little by little your judgment will become cloudy and you will soon lose control. You will have an AI assistant, and you must grant it full access, or else it will not be able to assess your stats. Mutual collaboration is key. I'm not wild about having a machine messing around in my mind, but I'll be the first to get over this shit. I hope you make it. Good luck. New user detected. ID 211215. SND progress 43%. Regeneration expectations positive. History of hacking and identity theft. Welcome, patient Leah. Nothing gets by free your mind. You guys know everything about me. Almost as much as I know about you. Affirmative. We do a prior follow-up of all our patients especially if they are prominent members of the ghost list. 
Do you have a name, Construct? I didn't find any reference to you the last time I hacked your database. Ten minutes ago, in the waiting room. I am Cora, administrator of this environment and your personal assistant. I am a specialist in eradicating SND and repairing neurological deterioration. But the final success of the treatment will depend on your abilities and perseverance. How do you feel? I feel... Damn, I feel great. I actually haven't been this well since my first implant. We are in an adaptive environment, Leah. And as such, it is programmed so the subject is always at full power. Everything you sense is created from your neural connections and a sophisticated artificial reality engine. I thought SND would affect me more here, but I'm better than ever. SND spreads quickly, but you are still in control of all your senses. My function is creating a containment system and guiding you through it, but you are your only hope. I know, just like in real life. I'm used to taking care of myself, and I don't like to depend on anyone. So just tell me what I have to do. Understood. We will start with standard training. First, we will diagnose your motor system and response speed. Please follow the instructions until the end of this test. Try to imitate the silhouettes that I have placed as a guide. I just enabled the kinetic module on your HUD. Each jump or dash made in the air will consume a kinetic charge, which will recharge upon touching the ground. Remember that you can combine these movements at your will. Congratulations! You have completed the basic movements training. Let's proceed to the next level. The laws of physics do not work the same as in the real world. Here you can climb and run on walls. Try it yourself. This also applies to roofs. You can climb and run through them if you have enough inertia. On steep ramps like this one, you can perform a stomp right at the final stretch, which will give you a temporary speed increase. Remember to maintain speed by holding take advantage of the speed boost from stomping on ramps to overcome obstacles. Test all the moves you have learned and reach the end of the level. Remember to repeatedly dash or hold down to conserve acceleration and maximize your speed. Congratulations! You have successfully passed the advanced movement test. Let's continue to training level 3. Now I will show you our medical evaluation system. Time and score indicators appear here. With them, I will calculate your performance. As part of the treatment, I have condensed your SND into cubes like this one. Every time you collide with them, you will eliminate them and your score will increase. Now I will activate the Synchro module in the lower right area of your HUD. Synchro will always start at maximum but will reduce over time. Eliminating SND will increase the synchro level and recharge it, multiplying the score. The time has come. Cross the line and start the test. I'm sorry, you haven't kept your synchro at maximum. Oh, fuck off! That was way too far. That was impossible to do. <sighs> this level is poorly designed. On the contrary, this section is prepared this way on purpose, and I can confirm that our level designer has exceptional skills. Remember that when you eliminate SND, the synchro is restored. If you do not maintain it, you will progressively lose the multiplier levels. It is vital that the synchro indicator always be at maximum to obtain the best result. <laughs> No. 
I'm sorry. You have received an impact causing you to lose all your synchro levels. You have to be more cautious in the future. Don't take me for a fool, Construct. I know that was another of your tricks. That jump was impossible. Sorry for the inconvenience. Your statement is true, but it is a fact that pain is the most effective method for learning. Come on, let's continue to combat training. As a defensive measure, I have synthesized the most aggressive SND sequences in the form of enemies. Destroying them will increase your score and recharge synchro just like the cubes. I just activated your weapon system and added a new weapon to your inventory. Damn! It's a bifocal bull sword! Experts say it can open cracks in space. They're worth a fortune and I've always wanted one! I keep in mind the patient's desires. Maintaining a positive attitude improves progress in adapting to the environment. Please note that enemies have different hit points. I will activate the combat interface above them when you approach so you can see it. Destroying an enemy while in the air will grant you an air charge. Make good use of them to over- Your weapon can pass through surfaces and will also eliminate cubes. I have enabled the debugger mode of your weapon. It is a long-range laser with limited shots. In the HUD, you can see your ammunition. Congratulations! What you just removed is an SND neural core. Remember that it can only be destroyed by heavy attacks or the debugger. You have freed a section of your brain from the disease and have completed the level. Perfect! One more step towards my freedom. Soon I'll be as good as new. <laughs> by the way, can I see my statistics? Of course. Below you can analyze your results report. In it, I will assign you a rank depending on your score. Ranks A and S will reward a standard memory node, and rank S plus will reward an advanced memory node. But don't worry, I will explain the function of these nodes to you later. We are almost finished. Check the report and we will move to the final level when you are ready. This is the final stage, the combat test. Levels like this one do not contain a neural core like the one before. To complete them, you must eradicate the entire SND. Go ahead and finish them off. You have completed the whole testing environment. Congratulations. Your rating is the highest among patients in the last year. I told you that I was at full strength and I always play to win, even in a training session. Your self-confidence will be a great ally in our fight. You are now ready to start treatment. Your avatar will be transferred immediately. I know this place. 
This is Eden. I've spent half my life here like everyone else. What kind of scam is this? Do you really expect me not to recognize the most well-known virtual universe in history? Oh, fuck off. Indeed. This treatment is based on the same code as Eden, but incorporates sequences of your consciousness, memories, and experiences. What you see is a simulation based on your mind, using an instance of Eden as background. The leak said that it was in the testing phase, but I expected something more innovative from a big tech like Free Your Mind. Our priority is always the patient. That is why we adapt a familiar environment to the user's mind, so that the treatment is as comfortable and effective as possible. So I'm alone? Like, no other users? You mean an Eden of my own, exclusive to me? Damn, it's every hacker's wet dream. Affirmative. Zero distractions. The patient must focus on a single goal, eradicating SND. I've isolated the trials in blue doors. Remember, completing them will give you memory nodes to access new areas of the city. Additionally, I have included a support console within the tests. Use it to access training mode, see your replay, or modify options. Now you must put into practice what you have learned in the training environment and free your mind from the infection. The SND is spread across all districts. Go ahead and release the first nodes and I'll get back to you.
This is a fucking combat firewall. Do you want to kill me, Construct? By no means. I have installed these jamming beacons throughout the simulation to delay the expansion of the SND. Without these containment measures, its spread would be exponential. You will find them at key points throughout the city. And their main function is to avoid unnecessary suffering to the patient if they do not have the necessary skill. Fuck off! I'm not a noob! Let me pass right now! Hey, I don't need to ask permission to enter areas of my own brain! Impossible. The only way to deactivate these locks is by achieving enough memory nodes. Until then, access will be locked. It is for your own safety. <sighs> okay. Whatever. I'll let it go this time, but I warn you. I've never liked rules. Neither in the digital world, nor in the real one, okay? But I'm curious, um, in the hypothetical case that I try to pass through it, how many red lights would show up on your control panel? Just one. My defense system would open fire and break you down into simple code immediately. The pain you would experience would be so intense that your brain would reboot to prevent collateral damage and your avatar would regenerate. I do not recommend it, since it would be the closest thing to dying in the human sense. Although it has no side effects, it is better to come back when you have enough nodes. Damn, that's some serious shit. You guys play hard at free your mind. Copy that. I told you. Don't worry. 99% of patients do the same despite my warnings. Congratulations, Leah. You are making great progress. To facilitate your access to the tests, I'm going to enable a new menu in your interface. Great! New options! What are they for? This tool will allow you to access the progress of each test, check your best result, and see the unlocked nodes. Each door will be represented along with its statistics, and you will be able to quickly access the level from any point. Cool. Anything else I should know? You also have the progress menu available. Access it too. Yeah, I know how a progress menu works, thank you very much. You don't need to explain everything to me. Okay. Remember to consult the menus often. It will help you advance in your treatment. <laughs> I'm not a kindergartner. The whole thing is like a video game. Jesus, it's so easy for me. <gasps> Someone 
has included the Ocean of Stars foot truck in my instance. Oh, the Solstice pancakes are so good. I'm gonna eat some as soon as I finish my treatment. Oh, damn, they're so yummy. Unexpected error. All access has been blocked as a precautionary measure. What the hell? Is it because of the SND? Has it progressed too far? I just freed a door. Negative. A memory conflict has been detected on port 101. Fragmented information has been found. Does this happen often? You should talk to the QA team. It has never happened before. The error code suggests that it has been caused by an attempted unscheduled modification to the system. Are you telling me that someone other than you wants to mess with my head? Impossible. The shielding of the environment is impenetrable. Most likely one of my subroutines has gone out of sync. Unfortunately, my directives do not allow me to self-reboot, and I require your hacking skills. You will need to unlock the maintenance room and restart my auxiliary processes. Ugh, bullshit. Now I'm the one who has to do the dirty work. The server room is located in the west area of the city. This must be the maintenance room Cora mentioned. The administrator terminal has to be at the end. Free your mind may be big tag and all that shit, but this level of security is a joke to me. A latest gen multi-block fog? Maybe enough to scare Lorax, but not a class A ghost like me. I just need to press the buttons at the right moment before time runs out, and each ring will be released. The administrator terminal is at the end of the room. Resetting will cause a communications outage. Don't worry. Contact will be re-established once the process is done. Roger, roger. Cora's right and she can't access this part of the system. She shouldn't know anything about what's going on here. Let's check it out. Now's the time to be a bad girl. Huh, 
This looks like a list of patients undergoing treatment. Let's see if I'm here too. Voila. If I'm there, Daniel must be too. Here you are, my young apprentice. Hmm. I'd like to know how he's doing. Hmm. I'll save his ID so I can call him once I get out of here. The Comlock interface works the same as in the real Eden. To access it, I just need to press the button in the upper left corner of my HUD. Once inside, the list of my available contacts will be visible. For now, I only have a few. Maybe I'll find more. Okay, that's enough. Cora is about to get reactivated. Thank you for your cooperation, Leah. The firewalls are operational again. Go ahead and continue freeing nodes. Oh, it's always a pleasure to help a mega corporation. I'll send you my billing info. I'll try again. Huh, it seems that communication between users is blocked. But that makes sense. I'm in a custom instance. They don't want patients to waste time chattering, that's for sure. If you don't want us to do it, then don't accept hackers in your program. Cora didn't notice a thing when I was inside the server room. So if I want to go unnoticed, my only alternative is to use a backdoor. There are several in the real Eden, but the best known is without a doubt the Cyber Cafe. Old fashioned, but functional. Its access is in the new Asia district. That's pretty hidden. I hope they haven't shut it down too. market of the real Eden, you can find anything. And I mean anything, no matter how illegal it is. There's always someone who sells exactly what you're looking for, at a fucking high price.
Don't put it where you don't want to, unless you want to lose it. What the hell? A fucking talking beer can? Hey, hominid. Calm your mammary glands and be proud to talk to the wonderful Skip It! Son of a bitch, what are you? A renegade AI or something? Are you deaf? I'm Skip It, you dirty ape. And if you're talking to me, it means you're a little less stupid than your peers. Be amazed or something, goddammit! You're facing the most cutting-edge artificial intelligence in the known universe! If you've surpassed Cora and you're in my instance without sounding the alarms, you're a top-notch construct, that's for sure. Cora? You mean that AI from the Stone Age? Ha ha ha! What you call security algorithms are a fucking joke to me. I do what I want, when I want, and how I want. In fact, the advanced memory cores that Cora is giving you are my invention. I don't believe a damn thing you're telling me, all right? There's no way you've hacked its source code. Oh, yeah? When she told you about the memory cores, did she mention the little purple ones? Hmm. You're right. She didn't explain that part to me. Hear me out, ape brain. My true self left scattered fragments of the code that I need to get out of your shitty world. In their infinite coolness, these files are shaped like old console cartridges. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Your pathetic species has only created two truly worthwhile things. Beer and video games. I can't drink, so I had no choice. All right, well, if the little purple ones are yours... What the hell do they do, supposedly? They are special keys of a particular color that open special doors of the same color. Get it? Do you need a drawing? Each special door hides one of the cartridges. And I can tell you that they are difficult as hell. You will only get the cartridge if you achieve at least an S score. And you, Meatbag, have been chosen to bring them back. You mean you modified my treatment and included impossible tests, you bastard? You know, I'd love to mess with your only hope of survival, but my programming prevents me from killing humans, pathetic as you are. Don't worry, the special doors aren't related to your treatment, so nothing will happen if you don't complete them. They are completely optional, but... Will you have the ovaries to overcome them? <sighs> are you challenging me, you hunk of metal? I have more than enough ovaries. Well, now you have work to do, don't you, hominid? Find all the cartridges for good old Skip It. Whenever you get a cartridge, insert it into the terminal next to me. This way, I can access its code, you listening? And you can read its cool description. It's at your right. We'll see. I have more important things to do, you know? Like saving my life and stuff. Obeying Skip It should be your priority. But do whatever suits your reproductive system. Cyber gangs use these warehouses in real Eden as hideouts or arsenals. But in my instance, there is no one else, so I'll take a look.
security of these terminals is for rookies. Let's see what's in the warehouses. What the hell are these? They look like mechanical squids. They remind me of the sentinels that patrol data servers in the real world. I know a guy named Rick who could appraise these antiques. I would send him a message, but it seems that my comm log is blocked. I'll try it later. What the hell? I'm logged in as an administrator. Hmm. Someone hacked the system before me. Let's see who it was. Gotcha. This guy's been breaking into the warehouse for days. And the bastard erased the dates. What are you hiding in there, buddy? I won't forget your name, S. Kaneda. Is that what I think it is? I need to see this up close. Holy moly, it's on Artemis 01! It's the fastest motorbike on the entire network! <laughs> there are barely a dozen copies, only for Eden beta testers. How the hell is there one here? The AI never mentioned it. Cool, it has a built-in GPS module. Great, it will enable the map menu where I can see keys and firewalls and doors and all that stuff. Besides that, it'll let me fast travel around the city. Man, I love my new motorbike.
Asia is the best damn district in Eden. This place amazes me. The aesthetics at the entrance are fucking lit, man. But you know what they say. There is no cyberpunk dystopia without neon lights and Asian food. wasn't in the real Eden. It looks like a hospital, and that creeps me out.
the Cyber Cafe, just like in the old movies. <laughs> Purists love these things. Security here is on another level. I can't do anything. It's just beyond my knowledge. Damn it. Perhaps the SND is blocking me. Maybe if I get more nodes, I might have some chance of destroying this fog. Thank <laughs> you. 
The slums. The home of the outcasts and marginalized. Anyone can end up here if they piss off the wrong people. That's how fucking life works. After all, digital universes are just an extension of the real world.
about to explode. God, it hurts. It hurts so much. Damn it. Cora, help me. Anyone? I need to... Wait, what's happening to me? The pain now is... Damn, this feels good. Leah, your vitals have collapsed for a few seconds. How do you feel? I thought I was dying, but now... It's like I've been injected with something. What happened? Your SND level has suddenly increased from 43% to 52%. You have reached the yellow alert level, but don't worry, it is not catastrophic. Bullshit! You've seen me clean door after door. There's no way my stats are so high. Also, I feel different. I feel more awake than before. Less... me. I don't know what has triggered this anomaly. You are the first patient to have ever experienced this symptom. But that feeling of power is not real, just a side effect. Hey, I know the difference between what is true and what is not. And the power that I feel is real as hell. I am investigating the change in your infection curve. I will contact you as soon as I have the results. Alright, but hurry up. I came here to get better, not to make my head explode. capable of now, thanks to the skill boost. on their own. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I like it. <laughs> and Cora said this was just a side effect? <laughs> Never trust a machine. The AI hasn't stopped me. That is a good sign. The door had a god-level shield, meaning these areas were beyond her control. Cora has assumed that no one would be able to enter, so it's clear that I'm in limbo and I have carte blanche. In any case, if I stay inside for too long, she'll get suspicious. Better be quick. I don't want to tempt fate either. Hi, Dan. Did you miss me? Leah? Is that you, Leah? Oh, I know. I got you, Cora. <laughs> Good trick. Try harder next time, because... No, damn it. First of all, I'm L, not Leah. You know, if you aim to become a ghost, you better learn the slang in the Knicks, kiddo. Wow. I didn't know we were allowed to talk to other patients. She hadn't told me anything about it. Don't even think about mentioning it. I don't trust that AI, and I've broken more than 15 regulations just by making this call, capiche? Hmm. I hope you don't get me into trouble, too. I've been on a very good streak with the tests. Cora says my SND is at 15%. You're a champ, Dan. Nah, don't worry. I'm not gonna jinx you. And what about you? How are you doing? Fucking great, actually. You know, I recently had a stroke or something, and Cora says my SND has skyrocketed, but I feel much better than before. Damn. But are you really okay? Yeah, of course I am. Right now, I'm in ultra mode. 
I feel like a goddess. I don't know if I would like that. I'd rather not. My infection levels keep going down. I'm so happy for you, Dan. I really am, but I have to go. I just wanted to check how you were doing, as well as testing myself. Thanks, El. It's always good to listen to a friend for a change. I'll miss you. Oh, don't be so dramatic. You know I can't stand that crap. Ooh, before leaving, I have a little gift for you. A file. Download it. It is an encoded script. It will allow us to stay in touch. You rock, Leah! Okay, okay, now shut up and listen. We shouldn't waste any more time or they'll get suspicious. We'll talk again, if you follow my instructions. In order to communicate, open the executable in your comm log as soon as we finish this conversation, alright? Understood. That will enable transmissions, but Cora won't be able to detect it thanks to the encryption. Amazing! Thank you. I'll write only when necessary, so we'll be less exposed. Good boy. Keep it up. We'll talk later, Dan. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Good luck, El. All right, I should get out of here ASAP. Leah, I've detected a disconnection in your vital signs. Have you suffered another breakdown? Well, I, uh, yes, yes, Cora, I collapsed again, but I'm fine now. <laughs> is it a fucking SND thing? Has it increased again? Negative. It is very unusual. Your levels are still at 52%. I'll include it in the ongoing analysis. Continue with the treatment. Uh, yeah, sure thing. I'll keep recovering nodes. Thanks for your concern, Cora. I don't trust her. I'm sure she suspects something. Okay, I gotta be more careful from now on. <laughs> <laughs>